Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the Growstar 600. Growstar sent this to me for free to do a review. Let's go ahead and um, unbox this. This actually accidentally got opened before I got to it, but I haven't actually taken it out yet. So let's go ahead and um, open this up. Here's the user manual. And also has specifications. This par value map is very useful and it looks accurate because I saw a review on the same light recently and someone tested it using an apogee meter. This has 18 inches, it's 740 PPFD in the center. And uh, he measured it 16 inches, it was getting around 800, 8 to 900. So this looks accurate based on what I've seen from um, reputable par meters. So that's a good reference to have. Also, these specifications. This is the S600, and there are several other in the series. It says it can replace a 600 watt HID, which I don't know that that's really true. It says the average power draw here is 128 watts. The product page on Amazon says it's 140 watts. I'm going to do a power test and see what I get. The measurements on this 13.2 inches long, 7.9 inches wide, and about 2.5 inches thick. Let's go ahead and take this out of the package. So we've got the power cable, some hangers, and a, um, a little pulley hanger. These are really nice. It might be better to have two of these to keep it straight. If you just use one, it's probably going to rotate around, which may or may not be an issue depending, depending on what your needs are. This is a reflector series. Anyway, so these are 3000K, the Cree cobs. Uh, these here are IR lights and it's got a bunch of other types of lights in here. The spectrum is 380 to 780 nanometers. The inside looks. It's got a heat sink in there. It's kind of hard to focus on. But. So we've got two fans and on off switch. Power plug goes. This is for daisy chaining. Here's the side. Try to get a shot of the inside there. All right, let's go ahead and plug it up and do a power test. I always wear these with these purple lights. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so let it. Very bright. It's not super, super loud. Get close to my mic. It's actually quieter than my little bitty Green Joy fan. Not super, super loud with two fans running. Um, and the test that I watched before, I don't have a temp meter. One of the viewers I watched did some heat tests after it had run for an hour and it wasn't very hot. So uh, I like that. Let's put out a ton of heat. So let's um, go ahead. Oh, let me do the check power. This is pulling 124 watts, so that's closer to the product pamphlet saying 128 watts. Product page on Amazon says 140, so that's obviously wrong. So, so I'm actually getting 124 watts power draw. Looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this set up in the grow tent, and I'll show it, show how it looks over a plant, and we'll let it go for about 30 days. Okay, so I've got a Kingstar cross. It's a Lenzo crossed with white tie. I think it's an F2. I've been growing it in DWC and under a Sansi light. A little makeshift container, the air stone. So I've got the gray star light set about 24 inches above. So I, should, I haven't tested it, but according to their reference, it should be a PPFD of around 400 ish. That canopy. And I've got air pump. Let's turn this on. I 
can see it's a little noisy but this is in the basement so I'm not around it all the time. I'm gonna let this go. I did prune it and pull some suckers off already. I may do a little more maintenance to it but I'm just gonna let it go for about 30 days. I probably you know, of course I did place nutrients and all but um we'll see how it does under this light and I already have some flowers on it and on you know, bud sites so and I want to make a mention too that I accidentally dropped this from about three feet at the basement floor thought I'd ruined it but it actually held up you know, it seems to work fine so that's something for it and also I doubled up these just to get a little more height this tent's pretty tall so it's not that big of an issue but on the shorter tent the uh, doubling up these lines gives you a little more head room top in vertical room so it looks good i'll let it go for about 30 days and i'll update you on the progress hope you like that thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe